So how do we get started? Well, we're going to video inspect out to the city about 50 feet and okay. see if we can find some crushed pipe or some roots in so the So this line. is a video camera with a high quality lens and a bright light right there. These are really terrific to get inside that pipe. Absolutely. It saves us a lot of guesswork. And we're looking for crushed pipe, rot on the bottom, and the roots coming in of all the joints. So there's the PVC pipe right going yeah. through the foundation. That's the old repair that we talked about. And there's the cast iron end of the house. Good. So now we're under the slab. Oh, what's that? There it is. Look at that. That's what we thought, roots coming in at a joint. Okay, but they, they're there, but they don't look that bad. There's another little bit of roots on the top of that pipe right there. All right, keep going, Paul. A few more feet down. And there's another joint. All right, so all three of those joints so far have some presence of roots, but not enough to clog the whole pipe. We just had these drain lines cleaned and cleared a couple of months ago. Well, it's looking for water. All right, Paul, just keep on driving through. And now they're back. Now remember, this is underneath the slab. There was a time the only choice we would have had was to jackhammer up your whole house to get this pipe exposed, change the pipe. What we're going to do is actually replace this pipe without having to jackhammer the house at all. Before we do, we want to clean the inside of the pipe with the old roots and to wash it down. The cut ahead at the end of the drain snake will scrape the inside of the pipe and remove the last of those tree roots to leave a nice clean pipe. So Patrick, what we're going to end up doing is to take your existing pipe under the slab and run a new pipe inside of it. How do we get a rigid pipe like that into our drain line? Well, it doesn't start this way. It actually starts like this, as this polyester sock that we're going to coat in two-part resin and stick it inside of the pipe. Over time, it'll cure, and when it does, it'll change the state from this to this. Now, with this system, we could actually take a pipe that's this far damaged right here and actually end up with a smooth, beautiful pipe on the inside. Paul is mixing a two-part epoxy to coat the liner. One's a resin, one's a hardener. Now, once you mix them, how much time have we got? It's going to be 45 minutes before it cooks off. We've got to get moving. You can see it changed slightly in color, whereas it mixes properly. Right. We pour the epoxy into the liner. Then we use these rollers to spread it evenly into the fabric. Now the key to this system is this machine right here. It's a two-part air chamber. There's a compressor out back. With this chamber, we're going to be able to seal off on this side. On this side, we'll be able to put air pressure into our liner. Now the liner as it stands right now is inverted or backwards. It's inside out. And once we have it attached, air pressure will go inside here, now extending that liner down into the old pipe and inverting it at the same time. It's a brilliant machine. So now we have a liner inside the pipe, but it's lying flat. It's not in the shape of a pipe. So now we're going to repeat the process by setting this inflatable bladder down inside of that liner. Once it's in there, we'll fill it with water. It'll expand and hold that into the form of a pipe. Now this manifold is important because it allows us to add cold water in so that we can actually fill the bladder to make the pipe be formed. It also allows us to add hot water so we can now accelerate the cure, right? That's right. Uh -huh. So once that curing starts, how long before we have a pipe? About two hours we have a hard pipe. So Chuck, is it a pipe yet? Yes it is. It's hard and it's ready to go. All right, so what's next? Now I'm going to loosen the clamps up, drain the water out and pull the bladder straight out. All right, let's go. So Patrick, you ready to visit your new pipe? Oh yes. All right, so we're using that same video camera right down into that new liner. 
And look at that, perfectly smooth all the way along. That's fantastic. All right, so you now have a continuous line inside that old line, no more tree roots. Mm -hmm.